you feel it, joys in the air, and everyone singing, gather round, let's tell of the story of our Messiah's birth. Baby Jesus, born in the stable, Mary and Joseph, a manger his cradle, shepherds, angels, imagine his glory. Well, amen. Thank you, Miss Rhonda. Good way to start off our service. Good morning to you. Good warm Sunday morning to you. Glad you're here today. Glad you've come to worship with us this morning. Let me share with you a couple of things that's going on. Uh, Young at Heart will be this Thursday night, uh, December the 8th. Uh, so uh, it's also a time you bring your silly Santa exchange, uh, something less than $10 a gift. We change and play a little game. So uh, that will be good. Also, on December the 18th, uh, our choir will be presenting the Christmas music this year, the cantata, and we always look forward to that. Uh, so that's going to be a great time. So you invite others to come and be a part of that. Uh, today is a community course in London, Kentucky. We have three people from our church will be involved with that. Uh, that begins at 4 o'clock at First Baptist Church in London, Kentucky. So... Uh, uh, if you get an opportunity this afternoon, you'll be blessed uh, uh, to uh, if you go and attend that. Dove Tree, next door in our Christian Life Center, we still have about eight or ten names of children in the orphanage uh, that we're going to uh, uh, make sure they have a good Christmas. So if you would like to take a name after the service today, uh, that would be great. Many of you already have. Uh, so what a tremendous opportunity it is for us to uh, be a part of that ministry. Also, Lottie Moon uh, begins today, the week of prayer. Um, as you leave the building today in the foyer, if you haven't picked up one already, uh, some information about what you are to be praying for this week, to kind of to guide us as you, uh, as you pray. It's wonderful. And so uh, pick up one of those as you, uh, as you leave. Our WMU ladies have set our goal for $2,500. 
uh, for the international missions, and so uh, uh, you can give as God has blessed you, and you have the entire month uh, to do that. Doesn't it look pretty in here? I had a bunch of people came out yesterday and uh, put all this stuff together, and I appreciate them and their time of doing that uh, just to make it uh, just so pretty uh, and it's out in the foyer as well. So thank you for all you who came uh, uh, for that. All right, I think I covered about everything that I needed to. Stick ministry after the service today, uh, immediately after the service next door if you have a small child a child up to grade six, I believe it is, or eight maybe, you can uh, have that child over there and be a part of the uh, stick ministry uh, that will be also a part of our Christmas uh, celebration on the 18th as well. All right, I'm glad you're here today. And all you folks who are out there in your automobiles, we always have a lot of people that are worshiping in their cars, and we certainly welcome you to our service today as well. And thank you, Miss Rhonda, for blessing our hearts already through song, and now Chad will come. And lead us, if you would, please. Well, good morning. Let's all stand this morning. Angels, we have heard on high. Gloria, as we stand and sing the first, second, and third stanza. Angels, we have heard. do something different today. This is a month of giving. You know, we talk about giving and receiving gifts and all that. And these envelopes represent the Lottie Moon Christmas offering. And this enables this church and all of other, a lot of other churches uh, to give to support putting Bibles in the children's hands of people and adults as well all across the world, not just Kentucky. We do that too. 
But this gives us an opportunity to be a part of giving and missions. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a card, okay? And then I'm going to give you a dollar bill to put in that card, and you're going to be given to missions. I'm going to give you one too, okay? Is that all right? And I'll put that in there for you. Let's get it in there. Because this is very, very important. And all of our adults out there, okay. You hang on to that, okay? There you go. You check that out and see what you think about it. Okay. Oh, I get a hug. Yeah, how about that? Thank you so much. I get two hugs, three hugs. Dad, go. Man, that's worth having. We'll start having Pastor Powell every Sunday. All right, there's you an envelope. You and you, okay? Now, you put the dollar in there. And you, and then you help your sister put hers in, okay? All right, and there's yours. Okay. So now, this year, you're going to have to play a part in the giving of our Lottie Moon Christmas offering. Because I'm going to take those up, and you know that, that our, uh, we don't pass our plates around right now because, you know, the COVID thing and all that. And so we got a, a, we got a little church back there that's our collection box. So, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, take those and put them in that box back there for you all, okay? And what you're doing, then you're playing a part because, you know what? God can take that $1 bill there. And the, you know, the song, Little is Much When God is in it, and he can do great things with our gifts. And so this year, already now, you have played a part uh, in missions, and missions work. That's what it's about, is it not? So we have the opportunity to make Christmas a little better for some kids who are having a difficult time, some of them who don't have the food like we have to eat and, and the drinks and all that stuff, and they don't have the material like we have. They can't come to a church like this and worship but we can take it to them, and that's what this does. These dollars that you give right here uh, will go toward making it better for some people around the world. So I'll put that in the, in the box back there, and then when we get all of the monies collected, you encourage your parents to give to that as well, okay? It's a wonderful thing that we can do here to be a part of, and then we'll collect them all together, and we'll send it in, and it'll be used throughout the world. Isn't that wonderful? It's a missions program. So... This year, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. It'll be here just not long, you know, and we got some great things going to happen before Christmas, and we invite you to be a part of all those things and look forward to this special time of the year, uh, a time of giving. Uh, it's also a time that we have celebrate the coming into this world of Jesus Christ. Isn't that wonderful? All right. Thank you for coming down today. Now, you give me those back, and I'll go put them in the mailbox right now, in our church box right now. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming down. Good grief. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. I'll be back. Well, amen. These kids are precious, aren't they? All right. I'll just look at our prayer sheet and see we some folks we certainly need to remember in our prayers. And uh, let's lift these folks up and whatever need you have today as well. First of all, remember Brenda Hall. Many of you know Brenda Hall. Uh, she has had a fall, and uh, so uh, she's had, had some difficulties. So you remember her uh, when you pray. Also, continue remember Glenn Breaker, uh, Tracy Cornett, Vernon Barton, uh, Riley Fusen, the young, uh, young boy, Rick Eaton, uh, Haley Stansel uh, has had her surgery and working her way through that, and let's pray for full recovery. Also, remember Ms. Disney's sister. I wrote her name down somewhere. I'll have to get that after church, but anyway, the Lord knows. Uh, Keith Schoolcraft, Angela Norville, uh, Bert Hale, Ronnie Gibson, uh, Ozine and Bill McKinn certainly both need our prayers. Uh, Tayton uh, McCauley, Sonia Hackham, uh, Tracy Tate, uh, we got a lot of folks who uh, certainly need our prayers. Uh, Melvin Tate, remember Melvin when you pray as well, Paul Norville, uh, Vicki Killian, continue to remember her, and remember Victor as well. Victor used to be the former associate pastor here, and he had the funeral for that little eight-year-old boy 
that choked to death with a ball. He was playing objects, I guess, and the ball went down his throat and uh, at school and took his life. And Victor had to do that funeral uh, Tuesday or Monday and uh, an unchurched family. Uh, it was just very difficult. I spoke with him Tuesday. And uh, so remember, uh, remember Victor as he works through uh, his health issues uh, as well. Shirley Smith in the local hospital, not doing very well. We need to remember her and Larry Johnson. Uh, as a church family, we need to remember Mary, Mary Roberts' family. Uh, this saying of Joan Wilcox, we need to remember that family, and also the uh, Luther New family. So we got a lot of people on our prayer list that we certainly need to remember. And uh, so let's take these needs before the Lord, and, and whatever your uh, need might be today, we all deal with things, don't we? We go through life, and uh, troubles come in life, difficulties come, things we don't expect sometimes, they blindside us. But we, meet, we need to always remember that there's a God in heaven who's greater than any need that you and I will ever experience or have in life. And he wants us to bring our need to him. So whatever you have right now, whatever your need is, maybe a decision that you're contemplating or maybe a job change or perhaps something to deal with your family perhaps or uh, just whatever it might be. Uh, let's take, you take your need and let's take these needs on behalf of these folks to the Lord. Father, we thank you for prayer. We just know what prayer can do. It just moves your hand. And so, Father, I just pray that as we pause now in this service, thank you for our young folks, for our children. Lord, we thank you for our ministries that we have for our children. And, and I just pray for adults who need to work with those kids sometimes on Sunday morning that, uh, that would be so good to have uh, some folks who would be in there because we need them and our kids need them. And thank you for all the ministries of our church and all the things we do. And, and we do these ministries not for fun and games, but to point people toward Jesus. It's a time of fellowship together. Uh, it's a time that we grow stronger in the Lord together. And we point people toward Jesus. Father, that's the reason you placed this church here on this road, is for us to be an influence on this community and to see people come to know you as Lord and Savior. So, Father, we, we lift up all these folks to you. Many, many more names on our prayer list. And you know every name, you know every need. So we come today uh, corporately as a church, as a church body, lifting these needs up. And, Father, we pray especially for those who are hurting today because of the passing of a loved one. Their hearts are empty, you know, they feel like they'll never smile or laugh again. But Father, I just pray that uh, they'll look to you for that strength because the Bible tells us to look to you uh, for all these things. So I just pray, Father, that you'll feel that emptiness, that void that they have in their heart. And Father, we thank you for this service today, this time that we can gather in this building, this place together and, and sing these beautiful songs and have these songs presented through the, uh, it's, a, it's the gospel message. We thank you for that. And it just lifts our hearts toward heaven and pre prepares us for the written word. We thank you for your word that we can open to the, together today and share and allow you to speak to our heart today. So when we leave this place, uh, we'll know without a doubt that we're where we need to be with you. For those who need to come and receive you as Lord and Savior, Father, I pray this will be the day that they'll, that they'll take care of that need there. And it'll be like a burden lifted off of them to know that they're heaven bound and for other decisions church membership and perhaps to recommit a life anew father we just pray that you would give the liberty to these today to, to make that decision that would bring honor and glory to you and i pray this in christ's name amen let's all stand tell me the story of jesus right on my heart everyone tell me the story
Christ.